Hey Crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Sunday, June 13th, 2021. This puzzle has a title. It's called Maple Leaf. All right, let's get started. All right, I think I can see why this puzzle is called Maple Leaf. Looks like we've got a little picture of a maple leaf right in the center of the grid here. And we've got some circles too. Hmm. How many provinces are there in Canada, I wonder? Are there seven? All right, well, let's get to that when we get to it. Let's start with one across. Writer who created Oz. I think that was Frank L. Baum, B-A-U-M, if I'm not mistaken. Pairs with a sweet spiced flavor. Are those Bosque pears? No. I think those are just like that, right? Yeah. I guess it's not. Is there another pear that starts with B? Hmm. There's Bartlett pears, right? That's too long, though. Part of B A? Hmm. Isn't that like Bachelor of the Arts or something? Let's put in Arts. Deploy could be use. Alberta, city named for an eagle feather headdress. Alberta, ooh, that's our first Canadian clue of the puzzle. I have a feeling it won't be our last. Alberta, hmm. I'm not sure about that. And it is intersecting a two circle pair here. That's very interesting. With possibly dire consequences in quotations, so this is an equivalent phrase. It's not or else. Maybe it's or worse? Yeah, that makes more sense. Okay. Raised? Lofted? It's probably gonna end in a D. Elevated? It's too long. Nice burn, an equivalent phrase? Uh, hmm. Is that oh snap? That would be nice and colloquial. I would like that a lot. Okay. Oh yeah, because then this raised could be hoisted, right? Hoisted on your own petard. Lines up. Hmm. Battle blank. Is that battle royale? That's interesting. That seems like a contemporary clue too. I feel like a battle royale video game is kind of a genre that's cropped up only in the last like 10 years or so seasonal destination near quebec city another canadian clue and another one that intersects two circles hmm near quebec city man i don't know that much about canadian points of interest so this puzzle might be a little tricky for us lines up could be sinks Oh, is this just Bosque's plural? Oh, it is. Jeez, man, I had it right and I just didn't realize it was plural. Pairs, plural, okay. MLB team with a big W in its logo. That's the Washington Nationals. Nats for short. It may be bitter. There's bitter ale. Part missing from PSI. PSI. Isn't that like Pressure per square inch. Oh, so it's pressure per square inch. So the per is missing. It's not part of the abbreviation. Okay, that's kind of clever. Um, okay, winter. I still have no idea what this is going to be. This, <laughs> These two Quebec and Alberta clues are kind of blocking progress out of the Northwest. So let's see if we can start building somewhere else here. Like some birds or dolls. Hmm. Obviously in slang. Um, is that no duh? That's colloquial. It's a little more dated, but. Oh, these are nested, right? Because there's nesting dolls and there's birds in nests, right? Nesting. Wow, that's a great clue. I like that. Excite. Hmm. Rank. So this could be an adjective 
or a verb. Or it could be a noun too, because rank can mean something that's smelly. A rank could be like a military rank. And a rank could be like you're putting things in order, right? This is a very good ambiguous word here. Hmm, I'm not sure which one we're dealing with. Stops talking with up. Hmm. I really want this to be like clams up. Maybe no duh is not helping. I feel like we should have gotten this one. And the fact that we didn't is maybe an indication that no duh is not right. Because maybe this is clams up. I wonder if nesting is still right though. That's such a good answer. Oh, maybe this is natch, like naturally. Okay. Rank. Maybe a tier. A tier could be a kind of rank, right? Blank Berliner pioneer in phonograph records. I have no idea, but maybe it's Emil. I mean, it just looks like that name fits nicely there. Excite. Yeah, that should be amp up. Okay, now we're cooking. Once we got that wrong answer out of there. Metal that may merit a metal. Whew, that's a little tongue twister. Okay. Um, is it heroism? Yeah, I think that looks good. Okay, agitated. Is that just in turmoil? Okay, we've got one more letter in this Canadian answer here. Uh, I still don't know it. Rx order, that should be a script, right? Prescription, informal way of saying prescription. Same with that Rx there. Advocacy group that filed for bankruptcy in 2021. Yeah, that's the National Rifle Association. I don't think we've seen the end of them though. Um, is it medicine? Hmm, medical? I have no idea. Like bees? Is this just apian? Literally the word that means like bees? I think that's probably right. Okay, cry after an award is announced. Um, hmm, cry. Interesting. It starts with SP. Portrayer of Senator Vinnick on the West Wing. I have never seen the West Wing, but I know Alan Alda is in it. So that's what my guess is going to be there. Mystery writer Dayton. Uh-oh, geez, this is a tricky cross here. These two short proper nouns. Um, I mean, I want this to be an N. It's looking like it's going to be medicine. Hmm. Decidedly. Hmm. It's like certainly something. I'm not sure what this one's going to be. Hmm. Man, we really need help in this section. This little area here is causing issues. Young hombre. Um, so this is like the word for a young man in Spanish, maybe? Uh, my Spanish is not good enough to really know that. That'll teach you an equivalent phrase. Hmm. Is it just ha? Ugh. Oh. Capital of Qatar. Uh, I don't think I know that one either. Damn, what a tricky section this is. This is a really hard little knot. Love is love, e.g. Um... I mean, isn't that just like a truism? Hmm. Let's see if we can build off here. Words cried after go. That could be go get them. Ooh, we got an answering again, finally. That felt good. Okay. Like some outlets, maybe electrical outlets. Nice. Okay. Desert planet of Star Wars. I think that's Tatooine. How do you spell Tatooine? Um, I think it's like this. Let's see if that's right. Quebec's blank St. Jean. Uh, probably lac. I think that means lake, right? In French. Biblical verb ending. Saith. 
I think it's ETH probably. Pigeon English, wordplay. Pigeons say coo. That's the pigeon language, okay. Be batty in a way. This is more wordplay. Be batty. So it's not gonna be about being crazy, right? That would be the standard reading. What other ways can you be batty? Maybe you could bat in baseball. Oh, maybe you could echolocate like a bat, right? That's a very good wordplay clue also. All right, maybe we can build off of this. Um, not yet. Something that might lengthen a sentence. More wordplay. This is not gonna be about a prison sentence. Maybe a literal sentence that you would speak. Hmm. Might lengthen a sentence. I would want that to be like a comma or a semicolon or something. Hmm. Doesn't seem like that's what it's gonna be. Is this another Canadian clue? Like all the answers with pairs of circled letters punnily. Okay. Um, well, I don't think we have en enough information quite yet to know that. Although I want it to end in Canada. Um, something in Canada. Okay, I think, I think we can leave in Canada because all of these long answers are about Canada. So the fact that they have two circles in them would make me think that that's a good ending there. Let's see if we can confirm it. Yeah, Novelist Gaiman, that's Neil Gaiman. Uh, is it N-E-I-L? I'm not actually sure. Pound sound, that could be ARF, like a doggy pound, okay. Federal Regulatory Org. There's a lot of regulatory orgs. Maybe it's the Food and Drug Administration. 15th birthday celebration, ooh, I know this. This is a quinceanera, right? Um, is it like that? I'm not actually sure how to spell it. Quinceanera. That seems pretty plausible. Let's see if that's what it is. Title characters chanted in a 2011 Katy Perry hit. Is it TGIF maybe? I don't know if I know that song. Serpentine Swimmer could be an eel. Very high on a fire danger scale. Uh, hmm. It looks like it ends in a range, doesn't it? Maybe there's just like a one letter indication of how high something is on the scale. I don't think I've heard of that. Oh, a prior. Oh, maybe it is about a prison sentence. Jeez, I thought that was the standard <laughs> meaning of this clue. I guess this was the punny meaning, the prison sentence. Interesting, okay. Overturns could be up ends. Where blank go wrong? Where did I go wrong, maybe? Is this ISL? Newfoundland, EG abbreviated. Yeah, that's an island. I love all the extra Canada clues we're getting. This puzzle is a real tribute to our neighbors up to the north. Okay, classical Icelandic literary work. That's an Edda. Rose or lilac. I mean, those are both hues, right? This ends in Q here. Et blank, footnote abbreviation. Ooh. I'm not sure if I know this. Et sec? Hmm. Hmm. What is this? Like, all the answers. Is this made in Canada? Punnily. Made in Canada. I would want it to be made in Canada. Oh my god. Oh my god, I think I just got it. <laughs> Is this A? Because everyone supposedly in Canada ends all their sentences with A. It's like the Canadian dialect. So this would be an E, right? And then it would be made in Canada. <laughs> this is just making fun of the Canadian accent. What a theme. Okay, so I think that means we can put A in all of our two-letter circles here now. 
Okay, that'll help a lot, I think, actually. Especially in this section, knowing that that is going to be swapping an A sound for an EH sound. Okay. Um, I still don't know this. Hmm. Well, at least we got the EH here. Maybe that'll help on the crosses going this way. And I think we're going to have to build up and around in this direction. Okay. Sleep stage, that could be REM. That's rapid eye movement. Leader of the house. This is more wordplay. Not the house of representatives, maybe? Or is it? Jeez. Um... Hmm. Leader of the house. Wouldn't that be the speaker of the house? Hmm. I'm not sure. German auto since 1899. Uh, it's not Benz. BMW. I have a feeling we're going to be playing these E's and H's straight on the ones that are crossing them. So I think this should just be a normal E going this way. Is this Opal, maybe? That could be. Some salon supplies. It's not shampoos or conditioners. Hmm. Like Rochester and Syracuse, but not New York City. <laughs> for someone who's lived in New York State their whole life, this one's easy for me. Those are upstate. There's some question to, as where upstate actually starts in New York State, but Rochester and Syracuse are both definitely upstate. Um, oh, the House of Usher. Right, okay, yeah. Um, I always forget what this is actually referring to, but I know there's something that is the House of Usher, and that's about the extent of my knowledge. Hopefully the goose can uh, remind us what exactly the House of Usher is. Okay, so maybe some salon supplies are mooses. Okay. Oh, oh man. Is this muchacho? I think that's right. A young hombre. Okay, that's good. What is this again? Seasonal destination. Hmm. Outlets, e.g.? Like outlet malls? Those would be stores. I think we're gonna have to fill in this whole thing for me to get what this winter destination is. High school hurdle whose first two letters phonetically sound like one of its former components. Oh my God. S-A-T, because there used to be an S-A on the S-A-T, but there isn't anymore. Whew, that was a lot of hoops to jump through for that three letter answer. Okay, seasons in Quebec, more Quebec. More Canadian, I love it. Okay, so that's Etz, I think, Summers. That's Summer in French. Talks up. Hmm. Winter Ice Hotel. Wait. This, is, this doesn't have an A sound. Is this the only A that is that like punny sound? Or the rest of them just straight? E-H. Oh. Oh, I was expecting that. Okay. It's not working how I thought it was going to work. This is the only one where the uh, the vowel sound is swapped out. I guess these are all just straight hiding E-Hs in normal answers. Okay. That's still fine, though. That's still fun. Okay. Winter Ice Hotel. Yes. And then... So this isn't going to be an A sound after all. Um, is this medicine... Hat? Because it's a headdress, right? Medicine hat? Okay, that would make sense. Um, after an award is announced. Hmm. Okay, so dis decidedly could be indeed. Um, okay, Canuck, EG for short. That's an NHLer. Yes, that's a crosswordy way to describe a hockey player. I don't think we've ever seen this term outside of crosswords. Um, but it does show up quite a bit. Okay, same with MLB or, or NBA or NFL or any kind of professional sports league. Um, 
Okay, so this is speech. Okay, yeah, people want you to give a speech after you win an award. Okay, so this is Len Dayton. Okay, I haven't heard of them. That'll teach you is going to be ha. Okay, and then this is Doha. Okay, I have heard of that. Okay, and then this is a tautology, right? Because it's just stating one thing is itself, right? That's a tautology. Okay, like bells in Carillons? Is it rung? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure what a Carillon is. Basketball champions trophy. Trophy in quotes, so it's not an actual trophy. Um, so maybe that's the net, because I think they cut the net off of the hoop when they win championship games in basketball, right? So maybe this is rung. I still don't know what a Carillon is. Soft drink since 1905. I really hope this is RC Cola. That's a nice obscure soda brand. Two player game invented in Toronto. Is this hockey, some kind of hockey? Is it table hockey? That would make sense. Yeah, okay. Is, it, is that the same thing as air hockey? I'm not sure, it might be. Words at an unveiling. This is more wordplay. I love it. Uh, so it's not an unveiling of like a new product. It's someone that would be removing their veil like a bride. And she would be saying, I do, right? Very nice. Revolution to Hey Jude. I guess that would be, is that a side B? I actually don't know which side of the album both of these songs were on. So it might be a side A actually. Not blank, mediocre. Could that be not so hot? Woman's short hairstyle. Could that be a bob cut, maybe? Okay. Abbreviation after a price in a Craigslist ad. That's or best offer, I think. Level or bevel. Those are both tools. Instruments for Israel. Okay, I'm going to do my best here. Kama kawiwo ole. Okay, I think I got close. I think that's going to be ukuleles. Yeah. Okay. Part of LCD. Liquid crystal display? Is that not how to spell ukulele? Wait. Oh no, this is too short to fit in liquid. What is this? LCD. Hmm. Is there another kind of LCD that's not liquid crystal display? What's this What's this across here? Gillette brand, oh God. Is that Aptra? <laughs> the crosswordiest of crossword entries. Um, hmm. Can we build out from here? Iowa Cubs baseball classification. Well, it's the Chicago Cubs is the professional team, the big league team. So Iowa Cubs is most likely a minor league team, probably triple A, probably a Cubs farm team. Pallid. Hmm. You're looking kind of sickly if you're pallid. Ashen, possibly. What in the world is this? Money bags? Uh, hmm. How does that end? Novel convenience? More wordplay. Uh, so it's not like a new convenience, some sort of new gadget. Well, I guess technically it is a gadget because I think it's an e-reader, but it's novel because you can read a novel on it. That's a good pun, okay. Band whose 1999 hit Smooth spent 12 weeks at number one. Uh, I think that's Santana. Um, what is this? Uh, Fat Cat, maybe? Yeah, that looks good. Oh my god, is this least common denominator? <laughs> that's so mean. That's such a brutal clue. I've never seen it abbreviated like that. Uh, okay. Programming Pioneer Lovelace. That's Ada Lovelace. Yes, the first programmer. 
All right, tomtit is another name for it. This sounds like a bird. Is it a wren, maybe? That seems pretty likely. Oldsmobile Cutlass model. Oof, that sounds like uh, something from ages ago. I have no idea. Um, program introduced by the Trudeau government in 1984 colloquially. Uh, is it healthcare? Some kind of healthcare, it looks like. I don't know how it's going to start, but yeah. Let's see if we can build up through this little corner here. First word of a visit from St. Nicholas. Um, Twas the night before Christmas, right? Lex Luthor to Superman. Um, it's his like arch nemesis or something, right? Antagonist? Those are all too long. Alternatively, hmm. Sardonic could be rye. Blank of Parliament, maybe Acts of Parliament. It looks like it's going to be Arch, but it can't be Arch Nemesis. Stops talking with up. I guess it could be shuts up. You could shut up and clam up. It's a nice little pair there. Okay, alternatively could be by turns. That's a nice piece of language. I like that. Okay, we're still not going to get the Canadian healthcare. Pricey could be steep. Space scanning org should be SETI, looking for extraterrestrials out there. Clear weeds in a way. Is it hoe? Like you're hoeing your garden, maybe? Lieutenant's inferior? Uh, hmm. Is this free healthcare? I'm just looking at this long one again. Is that what it's called? Free healthcare? Arch foe? <laughs> I don't know if I've ever heard that before. Okay. Approximate weight of the Liberty Bell. Is that one ton? It does not surprise me. That is a huge bell. Okay. Spots could be a spies. So this would be an ensign. Okay. That makes sense. Very good. All right. We got our whole top half of Canada filled in. This is all the cold part, so we're going to get into the nice more temperate climbs down here. Okay, talks up could be sells. Yeah, if you sell someone on something, you're kind of promoting it. Thrown together? Could that be slapped together? No, that's too short. Hmm. One with a phony personality? More wordplay. Somebody that would be on a telephone, maybe? Hmm. I don't know about that one. Financial org once deemed too big to fail. Oh man, I have no idea. Is it like AIG or something? Passes. It could be a lot of things. It could be about dying. It could be about passing on the highway. It could be about legislation. Adopts, maybe? Hmm. Let's work over here. We're not having a lot of luck over here. Oh, shoot, but this is all cut off. Oh, no. <laughs> We're not going to get any help. Uh, all right. You know what? Let's let's uh, try to be a little resilient. Uh, veterans. Hmm. It's plural, at least. I think that means we can put an S here. Let's see if that helps. One source of oil. You can get oil from shale. I think they have shale oil in Canada, actually. It's a big export, I believe. Dish served on a skewer. That should be a kebab. One of the ways to spell kebab. Singer Mary J. Blank. That's Mary J. Blige. Okay, I do know that one. Oh, although KB. Uh-oh. Oh, passes. Um. Well, it could be something by, right? Hmm. It could be about passing someone. Approvals, yeses. Big elevator maker. That's Otis. Okay, so it's not kebab. Okay. It's like the only elevator maker. I'm not sure what this is then. Dish served on a skewer. $15 an hour EG. That could be a wage. It's a new minimum wage in a lot of places. 
what most spiders have eight of. Most spiders have eight eyes. That's what I've been told at least. Okay, so this is satay. Ooh, yeah, that's tricky. It's like a, kind of like a Thai dish. Yeah, I've had tofu satay that's been really good. Okay, what is this? Is this Gordie Howe? Six time winner of the NHL's Art Ross Trophy, born in Saskatchewan. Yeah, I think that has to be Gordie Howe. Okay, it's another very good Canadian clue. Uh, uh, am I, whoops, missed the backspace there. I might be spelling his name wrong. I think it's Gordie Howe, maybe like that. Okay, yeah, that looks okay. Leers at, could that be Ogles? Yeah, there we go. Frederick who composed Camelot. Ooh, I do not know that. Helps a dishwasher say? Hmm, I guess that would be dries, right? There's usually someone washing and someone drying. Princess who says, why you stuck up half-witted scruffy looking nerf herder. That's a great line. That is Leia, Princess Leia. Who's scruffy looking? Okay, suppliers of the milk for Roquefort cheese. Uh, I have no idea, it's probably use. Rehearsal EG in slang. Hmm. I'm not sure what this is. Is this like rehearsal for a play? What's this long down, thrown together? Oh yeah, that's slapdash. That's another really nice piece of language there. I love that. Yeah. Okay, so is this a sesh? A session? Oof. Um, veterans. It's got to start with L, right? Because this has to be old, I think. So, Frederick Lowe? Is that Lowe's like the theater chain? No, I think that doesn't have an E on it. I'm not sure who this is. Veterans, old pals? One with a phony personality. <laughs> Is this Siri, the uh, Apple assistant? Oh man, that's tricky. She's got a phony personality because she's on a phone. Okay, so this is old pros. That makes more sense for veterans. Okay, and then passes as goes by like time. Jeez, I should have put AIG in. That would have helped. Okay, I was just so unsure about it. They might help with changing your locks. This feels like misdirection. I don't think it's gonna be locksmiths. I think this is gonna be like hairstyle locks. Um, I'm not sure. I mean, it could end in hair maybe, but I don't know beyond that. Snake oil purportedly. I mean, it's usually claimed to be a cure, right? Um, hmm. Root beer brand? That could be Mug. Central route through town. This is like an informal way of spelling through. That's interesting. I wonder if that means the answer is going to be informal. Yeah, I think it is. I think it's going to be Main Street, and then Street is abbreviated there. Okay. That's a nice little indication there. Range within which you can answer the question, can you hear me now? I guess that could be within earshot. Okay. Wig something? Maybe wig shops? That would help you change your locks, yeah. Shout informally. Is it holla? Like that, like holler kind of informally? Let's see if that's right. Likewise could be same, yeah, that's good. Not only that, that could be plus. Actress Lena. Hmm, I don't recognize that name. Blank Wars, conflicts of 1839 to 42 and 1856 to 60. Is that Opium Wars, maybe? Maybe that was in China? It may be perfect or simple, but not both. <laughs> Tense, that's a nice language clue for us crossword fans. Perfect tense or simple tense. I don't know what simple tense is, but yeah, that sounds right. Okay, 24 and suits actress born in Halifax. Ooh, I don't know if I know this one. G 
cheer. Is this like good cheer? Like happiness? Maybe elate? If you're cheering someone, you could elate them? That doesn't sound quite right. Congresswoman Omar. Oh, isn't it Ilan Omar? I'm not sure how to spell her first name, actually. Moves quickly and lightly. Hmm. You can believe it. Is it like the truth or something? Hitchhikers need, hitchhikers need a ride. Okay, I like to see that I here for the beginning here. This is probably an L. International Fashion Magazine. I think that should be L. Climb as a rope. Hmm. Climb as a rope. Hmm. It looks like her last name is Hope. I'm not sure what her first name would be, though. Although, ooh, DL? Uh-oh. One of these is wrong, and I'm not sure which one. Moves quickly and lightly. Maybe it's, you know what, maybe it's not a ride. Because I would want this to be flits, maybe? What else would a hitchhiker need? Oh, a lift. Oh, that's so hard. Okay. Um, because that I is, was right also. You can believe it could be a tenet. Yeah, a belief could be a tenet. Okay. Mm, is this a Leslie? How would you describe climbing a rope? Hmm. Maybe it is a late, though. Because I really do want it to be Leslie Hope. Let's put that in. Um. How do... Illin? I thought this would be an L. Slim? That can't be right. What else could it be? Could it be Shin? Maybe it's Shin because you kind of use your shins when you're climbing a rope, but you're kind of pinching it with your shins, right? And then it could be Illin with I-L-H-N maybe? Let's try that and see if that works. Nice. All right. We used a little bit of educated guessing there. All right, we managed to spell Ilan Omar's name correctly, eventually. We came up with a good plausible guess for Shin. I'm pretty happy about that. That was tricky, though. It's a tricky little section to end on. Um, this was a really fun puzzle. As someone who lives so near Canada, um, I kind of feel like I'm a little embarrassed that I didn't know more of these answers. I mean, at least I knew Gordie Howe. I didn't know Leslie Hope. I mean, she's born in Canada. That's not like super Canadian. Um, free healthcare, I guess, is kind of just inferable. But yeah, I feel like these first two were very, very strongly Canadian. And I didn't really know either one. So yeah, I should do better on my Canadian knowledge. I did like this made in Canada revealer. It tripped me up a little bit because I really thought this making fun of the kind of A dialect would have kind of carried through to the rest of the theme answers. So it took me a while to realize that that was not happening. But um, th this puzzle was just full of great wordplay. I, I can't remember exactly how many there were, but it seemed like there was like at least 10. Yeah, that was really good. And there was a bunch of good kind of long language too, like slapdash. I really liked that a lot. Tautology is good. Quinceanera, woo, that's beautiful. Yeah. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed solving this Canadian-themed puzzle with me. I certainly enjoyed our visit from our neighbors up north. I'm going to be coming back at you tomorrow for the nice, lightly challenging Monday puzzle. And I think that's going to do it for now. All right. I'll see you next time. <laughs>